Chino, how about a little service here? Take it easy. I only got two feet. Well, why don't you hire some more help? I did, then. He should be around here pretty soon. He should be walking in here. He's a good man, too, and a good man nowadays. It's hard to find. <laughs> uh, everything's all right, Charlie? Mm -hmm. All right, that's nice. Everything is perfectly all right. I'll just took a little magazine here. Hello there. How about a picture of you and your girl? Hold it. Thank you. <laughs> Let me see, that'll be 40 cents, sir. 40 cents for a look magazine? It's 15 cents. I beg your pardon, sir. Four copies of Quick are 40 cents. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you doing in my foundry, anyhow? Oh, I came over here, sir, from the employment agency, and they said that you needed a very fine, upstanding sanitary soda jerker, sir. Well, look no fighter, buddy. I'm your jerk. <laughs> question. You know anything about soda jerking? Do I know anything about soda jerking? <laughs> Every soda fall in the country I worked in. Every one of them. There ain't one I ain't worked in. This bum wants to know, do I know anything about soda jerking? <laughs> Do you? No, I don't know. <laughs> now, come over. Let me ask you a few questions. Now, come over and step to my right. My yes, left. sir. Now, if someone orders some vanilla ice cream, how would you give it to them? Oh, uh, vanilla ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I get the plate, sir, and I get the vanilla ice cream and put it right on there. No, you don't do it that way, Zelma. No. You get yourself a scoop, right? What did you call me? Zelma. Zelma, Zelma that you love me tonight. <laughs> you get the ice cream, you scoop in like this, and you pick it up, and there art thou. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, sir. That's you take it. the scooper, and mm -hmm. you scoop it up, then you put it in the hand. No. <laughs> Like the, look, I want to... Give me this stuff. Now, look, I'll act like I'm the customer and you be the clerk. Right? All righty, you be the customer. All right, I'll sir. Act like you don't see me. Yeah, I'll make out like I don't even know you're there. All right. Please. <laughs> 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 You gonna ask me what I want? Oh, I didn't know. We could have been here for the whole hour. <laughs> uh, what, what, do you, what do you have, sir? Tell me, won't you? All right, I'd like to have a, a strawberry milkshake. Strawberry milkshake? Right out, sir. One strawberry milkshake for the man. Coming up. One strawberry milkshake. First, you take the milk. Little strawberry milkshake for the man who knows the best in fine food. Strawberry milkshake, yes sirree. Strawberry milkshake for the man. Strawberry milkshake for the man. Strawberry milkshake, put in the cream, put in your ashtray, turn out the lights, because we're having a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Strawberry milkshake, 
Will the man coming up? I'm not really dressed for the job, sir, anyhow. Oh, lo and behold, I have something for you. You must be, you must be sanitary. Oh, yes, I will, sir. I'll be very clean okay. and very nice, sir. Thank okay. you. Oh, this is very stunning. Okay. I look like a regular bro Bramel. No, you look like a bum Bramel. It's a better. bum Bramel. There, now, there. Oh, now are. I will. Here, sir. Oh, no. Not my Abba Dabba hat. <laughs> I got this last Sunday for catching three black scorpions from the Beaver Patrol on our desert outing. Well, how many of you fellas win? Well, Aunt Sylvia wanted Fred to come. Oh, come on, I don't want to know about that. Well, what do you want me to do first, sir? What well, shall be my chores? You want me to get anything for you, yeah, sir? Yeah, get some plates. There's a good cue. Get some plates. Oh. Yeah. yeah, get some plates. Or don't oh. you want to get the plates? Oh, I'll get the plates for you from the kitchen, sir. Well, you can't get them from the garage. All righty, and here I go. All right, here we go. What's with that guy? Is he crazy or something? No, he got the wrong head back from the cleaning. <laughs> he <laughs> uh. <laughs> This is it. This is it. What? This is your first customer. Let him have it. Yes, sir. Ree. How about a little service over here? Little service. Yes, sir. What do you like to have, sir? Well, I think I'd like to have a nice Sunday. A Sunday. Yes, sir. Ree. What kind, sir? Oh, any kind. What will you suggest? Suggest? Oh, I don't know. How about the Reeny Rick Birdie wheel? Oh, good. <laughs> Take it with, with French ice cream. French, French ice, ice cream. cream. We get lost, we get lost, you know. <laughs> French ice cream, ice cream, the man wants French ice cream. Here we are. We start off, sir, with Winelda. More Winelda. Oh, chocolate. <laughs> to the pudding. Pistachio. <laughs> Top it the love, sir. Go tell. Keep cold. And now we put a little bit sherry. And then after that, we put a little bit nut. Nut is good for the young sir. And then raspberry. Oh, the raspberry. How about the wiped cream? Who wiped the cream? We use. A ready whip for wipe the cream. Right. And gold meadow ice cream. The writers get eighty dollars. <laughs> Here we are, sir. The whip cream. There you are ready. There you are, sir. That looks wonderful. Yeah, you could wear that. <laughs> you wanna come in Monday for a fitting? <laughs> There you this are. Looks, this looks awful good. I'd like to take some of this home. Yeah, he wants to take You want to take some ice cream home? Yeah. All right. Some chocolate. <laughs> some more chocolate. <laughs>
shouldn't go around waiting on customers like that. No? No, you shouldn't. Why, is there something wrong here? No. No. Hey, Pete. Wow, wow, wow. What's the matter with the machine? I just put a nickel in. Doesn't work. Hey, Clarence, go see what it is. Yes, sir. I'll take a look if I can see. Yeah. You mean a machine don't work? Doesn't operate. What's the matter, Ma? Play the music. <laughs> Keep the beat. <laughs> Gee, my mom's a Wurlitzer. <laughs> hey, is this a soda fountain or ain't it? What does it look like, Empress? <laughs> I like to, I like to get one of them giant malts. You like to get one? We don't give any more. We don't make any more giant malts. No, no, no more sir. giant malts. It's too much work. You buddy. want a super malt or an extra special lips? It's all right with me, but we don't give those giant malts anymore. Listen, buddy. <laughs> Wow. The sign says a giant malt. Yeah? Do I get a giant malt or do I knock your heads together? Yeah, you can get a giant malt together. <laughs> a woman for you. I ask her to get my shirts whiter. But does she call this whiter? That's just like a man. How can I get his shirts as white as he wants? Unless I bleach the life out of them. Well, the answer to that question is easy. A box of Colgate's new fab. New fab washes clothes whiter without bleaching. Yes, whiter than any other product known with the bleach in the wash water. But I can hear you say, if Fab Wash is that white, is it safe for all my clothes and my washable colors? 
Fab actually washes new liveliness into your white and makes your washable colors look brighter. I take this shirt. It's been washed dozens of times in Fab, yet it's full of strength and light. Yes, a livelier white, a cleaner white. In the hardest water, Fab washes clothes cleaner than any soap on earth. Gets dirt out, leaves no soap scum. And Fab gives you the sweetest smelling wash ever. Fab's wonderfully mild to hands, too. Remember our friends. Now there's only one side to their story. Boy, really white shirts at last. How did you do it? Just Fab. And I didn't have to bleach. Get Fab. Find out for yourself why more and more in every store the folks all grab for Fab. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, Jerry and I like to find new talent. Now, we didn't go too far to find this trio that we're about to uh, uh, ask to come on the floor. We just went into a very dark, deep tunnel, and we found these cats. And uh, here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the Borden twins and Bubbles. We gotta get going, where are we going, what are we gonna do? We're on our way to somewhere, the three of us and you. Say, what do we see there, who will be there, who wants me to make the prize? There's Johnny Cavalier, we're dark and slamming. We're on our way, we're on our way. Pack up your pack, pack up your pack. And if we stay, and if we stay, we won't come back, we won't come back. How can we go? too long at rehearsal we only had did a show for about 90 minutes and we had to cut it down to 60 and I don't think we made it well this is the first time we've been over in a long time yeah you shouldn't get upset though because it happens every day in television <laughs> what are you staring at us we're not criminals so we couldn't get everything on the show in what do you want to do fight with somebody <laughs> what is it ladies one I didn't hear you speak up Norman don't uh, tell don't us what, to, what do. to do we don't have to take any orders from you fellas back there. Yeah, just don't come around here telling us what to do. You just stay there. The still. writers have to come in every show and tell us what's the matter. Have oh, we been in the business? Suggestions, don't make any suggestions when we're on stage. Do, do me a favor. Thing. Don't come out here, will you please? Well, don't embarrass me for the 50 Embarrass minutes. nothing. You don't walk out on the stage. <laughs> All right, boy, go on a floor and ask for more money. Right now, I, I didn't hear you. What is it, Dick? One minute. We Ladies and gentlemen, we do more. have to sacrifice some of the, yeah. the show, but we do have to make mention of the fact that you've been so wonderful to us in our crusade to help muscular dystrophy, the disease where the people know nothing about it, they don't know the cause or the cure. You've been so very gracious and wonderful sending your money to MDA, New York 8, New York, 
And we'd like to impress upon you, it's so very imperative that you do it some more. Right. MDA, New York 18, New York. And next week, our very wonderful and lovable Mr. Eddie Cantor will be on a Colgate Comedy Hour. As for my partner, myself, we wish we could have finished the show, but that's television. We're sorry. We love so, you all. We'll right? see you all soon, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this part of the show. Maybe the next time you'll see the last part of this show. You never can tell. That's all the same stuff. <laughs> Goodbye, and God bless you. Good night, everybody. Vicky. The Colgate Comedy Hour has been presented by Halo Shampoo. Come on, let's painting free. Ajax Spencer. And Fab, the new wash day suds. Now, good night for the Colgate Comedy Hour, which has been presented by the Colgate Pamela Pete Company, makers of quality products since 1801.